Hello and welcome to the next episode of my devlog. This week was supposed to be about making an inventory system in Unity, but from the very start I began having this fear that I will not be able to do this because I'm not really a programmer. And this feeling was unconscious at first. I bet I'm not the only one who does this. When I have some kind of a big milestone I start thinking about other work to do, to kind of get away from my main goal. And this happens a lot in my life. I only realize about it when some time passes. Only today I noticed that it happened again. So you may already guessed it, but I didn't make an inventory system yet. But it's not a total failure, because my time was still spent on game dev. At first I was like, what should I do this week, as if I didn't know already. So I started from doing something else, which is making some butterflies to make my environment a little bit more lively. And even though this wasn't my main goal, I'm glad I did it. I mean, I would have done it sooner or later, anyway. This was in my plans a long time ago. When I began making a butterfly, I knew straight away that I wanted to make the wings completely flat, so I just started from making a simple texture. I just took my main texture sheet and added a few butterfly textures drawn by hand, why not have more than one, right? Anyway, when my texture was done, I just created a very simple flat plane and applied the texture. Which by the way had an alpha map, so the edges were transparent. Then I made a 3D body, also very simple. I didn't even care how it looked, because it would look so small in game that it would be almost noticeable. The hardest part for me came when I was done with the model. I mean, the hardest part is actually programming, but the second hardest part is animating. And now I had to animate this butterfly. I was trying to find the easiest way. Making an insect flap its wings is pretty easy. But what about the trajectory of the flight? I guess there are a few different ways to do this. But I only know one way, and it's always easier to do something that you already know, rather than trying to figure out this other method that might look better, but would take so much more time. So I chose an easier method. I animated them by creating a trajectory inside 3ds Max and simply exporting this animation to Unity. Now this way is not really good if you want to control the flight path in Unity. So if you needed more different paths, then you would have to create each of them separately, which takes time. I'm kind of lazy, so I made just a few flight pathways now my butterfly moves along these trajectories endlessly, and it actually looks pretty good. I was happy about the result. The next day I started thinking about the inventory. I really like realistic world mechanics, so I wanted my character to actually have a backpack. And instead of coding the inventory system, I started making a backpack. I felt really relieved that I didn't have to dive into this ocean of scripts and creating a high poly model felt like meditation. I guess I got used to it so much that it felt effortless. And as always, after making a high poly model, I made a low poly model, baked some maps, combined them in a strange way, and textured by hand a little bit. And here is the result. I felt really good about the result this time, and I didn't even want to look at my butterflies anymore, the difference was so huge. Then I added the rig of my character to my backpack, so it would move the same way my character moves, and this is the result. It kind of looked ok, but something was off, so I have changed the size of it by making it wider, and it looked so much better now. The week was almost over, and after I felt happy for a few days, I started feeling worried that I haven't spent any time making an inventory system yet. So I thought at least I should begin now, and next week it would be less work to do. My first task was to make it possible to pick an item. Or rather, make the items in my game to disappear after I pick them. I don't really know how other people do this, but I simply added a collider to my main hero's hand, and made a short animation of picking an object. After this, I made a simple script where the object is destroyed after my character's hand touches it. And that's it. 
It looked pretty good and this wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Of course, this is the easy part, making an actual inventory system is gonna be so much harder I imagined. The last day I made an icon to open an inventory. I placed a copy of my character to see how it looks from a closer distance and I also made a simple texture that represents my inventory. Anyway, the last thing was I made a script that lets the item icon appear when I pick it. This was already a little bit challenging to me, but I'm glad I made it. Now I'm not really worried that much about the next week where I'm actually going to try and create an inventory system. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.